All right. Um, <clears throat> we're going to continue the notes from yesterday. Um, those of you that were in class know that I asked you guys to complete number four and um, for homework to come up with an equation. We have two dry cleaning companies. Um, they offer delivery service. And um, so we're going to look at those two companies. Um, they have five. 10 and 15 as the number of garments. Um, and then we have the prices. I went ahead and um, completed the first company here in Desmos calculator. We input it, input it. Um, <laughs> uh, we put the um, information in the table here, and then we got an equation written in. Um, well, they gave us the slope and the y-intercept, and now we can write it in slope-intercept form. So we have y equals 4.05x plus 35. All right, that's the first equation given company one. And now we're going to do the same thing, create an equation, but we're going to do it for company two. So we're just going to come in here and change out our um, value. So this will now be uh, 31.25 because we're dealing with company two. All right. And feel free to do this with me. Um, 57.5 and then 83.5. All right, now that we're finished, we have a new equation down here, if you notice. All right, it says now that our slope is 5.25 and our y-intercept is 5. So this is y equals 5.25x plus 5. All right, and with that now that's our system um y equals 4.05x plus 35 and y equals 5.25x plus 5. here's our system and of course if we want to solve it we can um there's already um the one we just created in there so we could just do 5.05 x plus 35 and let's see we're zooming out to find that point of intersection we're going to tap where we think it is and it gives us that the point of intersection is when we reach 25 garments so at 25 garments the price at each company is going to be 136 dollars and 25 cents all right. So now with number five, we're going into, okay, let's say we're given a graph, right? And we want to write a system from the graph. All right. We're going to start with um, this special rates for mid-sized car rentals. All right. And we have one line that's kind of going, starting here and going this way. All right. First off, if we're writing an equation, given a graph, we're going to look for the y-intercept and then the slope. Notice the y-intercept here is right in between 20 and 30. So it looks like that y-intercept is 25. So we write y equals, we don't know the slope yet, <laughs> plus 25. All right. And if we're looking for this slope, we are going to do our rise over run. So we need to choose two points. One point is already chosen for us. And then we're going to choose this point right here. All right. So rise over run. All right. Now we have to figure out how much did we just rise by? It looks like we rose by 20 here. And then we ran by 45. All right. So that's 20 over 45. Now, you know, we're not going to leave it that way. Um, but note that 5 can go into 20 and 45, and it becomes 4 over 9x. So that's what we're going to type here. That's our slope. And now that's our equation. So what does that mean? That um, 
every nine miles, the price goes up four dollars, right? Rise over run. Why is total cost and um the number of miles, you know, is our x. All right, so that's that for that equation. Now we're going to go to the second equation. We're starting here. And then there we are. Well, it starts at 35. And it looks like we go up and then right. So I'm going to do a little bit of erasing because there's too much going on here. We don't really need the red anymore. All right. So uh, we go from 35 to 45. That's plus 10. So that's our rise, right? And then we go over. That looks like 45. Actually, it's 50. I did not realize that before, but it is 50. So it's 10 over 50 or 1 over 5x. I think I'm going to need to go back to the other one, which is okay. Um, I had said that we rose 20 and ran um, 45, but it was we rose 20 and ran 50. So this is actually 2 over 5x, guys. All right, easy fix, but that is the system. Feel free to plug it in and find the solution. All right, now I want you guys to complete this one.